Since you worked in my life, you turned things around for better or worse. Please don't walk away. You can give me a break, but don't walk away. Sometimes I wonder how I made this mistake. But I'm only human. Maybe I overreacted. Maybe you should have done a little more. Oh! Just a little more You can question the past as the future unfold But nothing would have changed even if I still the same Cause I'm a kid Cause we grow die so Don't you judge me now Please don't judge me now Cause I won't judge you now Don't judge me now Please don't judge me now I won't judge you now Don't judge me now Cause I won't judge you now Madam just come back home, they shout, say I must go, I must go. She don't scatter the whole house. Hey! Marriage will never be one week. Which guy is your time marriage with this one now? Polo, I suspect say this thing, this Wala, get something to do with Auntie Jennifer Weaving. Hey, 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 shut up that your mouth. Shut up that gutter. That's why you go to talk, wah, 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 wah. See, I don't get time for this, your rubbish gossip now. The whole company is under pressure, if you don't understand. Me, I the talk gossip. See, I make her tell you something. You see that woman, Auntie Jennifer. Now she will or be won't marry before they come get accident. I make her tell you something. Now she employ me come. If not, what thing can happen if she employ you come? You dare important. The, the, she don't even see better person where she go. I for say. And that kind of person go feel employ you. I don't blame you. Huh? Wait, make her tell you what I'm madam. Ah! Oh, no! ah! Mama said, don't worry, oh. We go find you. My son, Dad, I told you you would like Rachel. She's such a decent girl. Yes, she is. You said so, and I have seen for myself. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. and Johnson. Oh. And uh, when will you be meeting with her parents? Um, we are. We plan to go by month end. If that's fine by you, that. Mm, that's very good. It's okay. Delay is really dangerous. The earlier, the better. So, month and it is then. Dad, mm. Mom, mm -hmm. I want to choose this opportunity to say thank you for choosing me and for seeing me worthy to be your daughter in law. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I want to promise you one thing today that with God on my side, I won't let you down. <laughs> You're welcome, my daughter. I know you will never fail us. I trust you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's, it's Steven. Hello? Steve, how about that? What? My goodness. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, where are you? You know what? I, I'm coming over. Okay? I Be calm. Well, um, not exactly, Mom. I, I need to go to his house right away. He needs me. Please, hold on. Hold on. Babe, I'm sorry. I have to leave this way. Um, but I trust my parents to take good care of you. Okay? Um, I'll, I'll call you. You can question the past as the future unfold, but nothing would have changed even if I still the same. Cause I'm only human. Cause we grow to die someday. Don't you trust me now? Steve, what is this now?
Wo er wohnt. Oh. Und sind sie läuft mir. She thought about Jenny. So confused. You trust me now. Please don't judge me now. Don't judge me now. Please don't judge me now. I won't judge you now Don't judge me now Cause I won't judge you now You can give me a break But don't walk away Sometimes I wonder how I made this mistake But I'm only human Maybe There is nothing you will say that will make me change the way I feel about you. At least can I come in? No, you can't. I've never cheated on you all my life. You lied to me about Abuja. You were in a hotel room with her. She had a towel on as at the time I came in there with my mother. Stephen, you were going to spend the whole weekend with her. Do I look like a fool? I know you're not a fool. I'm not calling you a fool, but you need to understand. Look, well, forget what you saw. I, it never happened. I did, I, I, I'm not lying. I didn't do anything with her. Believe me. If you're telling the truth, why lie at first? It, it was too heavy for me to tell you. But what I'm telling you right now is the truth. Stephen, let me ask you. If you knew Jenny was alive before you said I do at the altar, would you have still married me? I married you because I love you. That does not answer my question. Stephen. Do not show your filthy face in my father's house again. Because the next time you try it, I won't be this nice. Okay, let me, let me just say something, please. Let me show you something. I still have our wedding ring on. Stephen, I no longer wear mine. Leave my house. Stephen, leave my father's house now! Rubbish. How could you, Steve? How could you let that girl come back into your life and make a mess? I told you that girl is nothing but bad luck. I warned you against Jennifer. Steve, I warned you. She's, she's pure bad luck. Steve, I am telling you, it is better for you to go and get your wife back. Enough, woman. Leave the young man be. He's been through a lot. And you will still harass him, eh? Son, take it easy, okay? Take it easy. I'll see what I can do. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to talk to Martha myself. And I think she will listen to me. Hmm? It's okay. 
Just take it easy. You can give me a break, but don't walk away. Sometimes I wonder how I made this mistake. But I'm only human. Maybe I overreacted. Maybe you should have done a little more. Clearly, we should have done a little more. Just a little more You can quit You can question the past as the future unfold But nothing would have changed even if I still the same Cause I'm only human Cause we grow to die someday Don't you judge me now Please don't judge me now Cause I won't judge you now Don't judge me now Please don't judge me now I won't judge you now Don't judge me now to put Steven in any form of trouble. God, I don't even know what I want. Girlfriend, really, you don't need to keep beating up yourself like this. The deed has already been done. All you need to do is just to straighten up things, make things right. How? How do I make things right? Um, I would advise you go and see Steven. Yes. Let him know you are sorry. If possible, see the wife and make her to understand that Steven did not cheat on her. No. I doubt if Stephen wants to set his eyes on me. He might even strangle me to death. No. Don't even mention that. Steve, I know can never do anything to hurt you. It's better to do something than sitting down here to cry. <sighs> okay. I think I'll give it a try. Thank you. Sure. That's my girlfriend. Now, Cheryl. Huh? Don't be like this, okay? I want you to be like this. 
Jennifer I used to know. Um, I have good news. Really? What's the news? <laughs> I have this huge contract. Okay. I'll be featuring in another music video. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Now smile. Already smiled. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I, <clears throat> I guess I got what I deserve for the way I treated you. Done with the decorations. You didn't even tell me. Well, I, I wanted it to be a surprise. <gasps> this is lovely. Jesus. <laughs> Hello, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for everything. From the moment I started the foundation of this house, you were there for me. Look where we are today. The house is ready. Even though I know this is small, but. We're just starting our lives. I believe in the next couple of years we're going to have bigger houses, we have bigger estates. Baby, this is not small. You have done wonderfully for yourself and I'm proud of you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> okay, baby, baby, wait, let's go upstairs first. At least launch the room. <laughs> oh my god, this is so lovely. Oh, I'm proud of you, baby. Let's go upstairs now. I missed upstairs.
still the same. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Nice touch, nice touch. Move. Bro, what's up? You know, I came here thinking I was coming to chill with my friend who I thought was going through a, a rough time. But it seems to me like you're perfect, you're fine, you're okay. <laughs> you look happy. What has changed? Nothing. You're sure? Is Martha back? <laughs> Guy. Martha! Martha! Good boy, move, move. Johnson. So surprised. Surprised? This is my house, remember? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely remember. Welcome. Thanks. So, baby, what do I offer you for dinner? Oh, the usual. <laughs> you know what I always like on a happy day, especially when my team is playing very well. <laughs> of course. How can I forget? Recent development. <laughs> she, she's wearing your clothes. Has, has she moved in already? You heard her. She said it's her house. So, whatever happened to I don't want to cheat on my wife? Do I still have a wife? I mean, look around you if you can find her. Let me know. You're missing the game, bro. And he's saying go come back in in one month time. In one month. Why still avoiding me? For the past one year, he has been traveling for business meetings. He even changed his lines. I see Ruth. No vessel, no be my fault. Now God tell me say, say make I tell you any time, any time where you come, say in travel. And he say even if in the inside house, make I tell and say, make I tell you say in travel. Okay, no problem. When he returns, tell him I came looking for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be telling. And please tell him it is very important. Thank you. Alright, bye bye. went back to that man after all I told you. Sis, 
Steve is the love of my life. He is already sorry for all that happened, including what transpired between the both of you. My life is nothing without Steve. No, sis. That is not true. Your life is everything without him. He does not deserve you. Jenny, please, go in there. Pack your things. Let's go home. It's too late. I'm already carrying his child. She, she what? I'm one month pregnant for Steve. She, she was pregnant? You heard them. Mother, I call you here because of what your mother told me. She told me that you're having issues with your husband. And we have discussed it. I know that whatever I'm going to say now will sound unpleasant to your ears. I and your mother have discussed it. And that don't ever argue, argue over it. You are going back to your husband's house. Sister, how could you say such a thing? Eh? You're even supporting Stephen. I'm not supporting him. I'm not supporting him. Remember you are pregnant for him. And this child needs to be born in his father's house. You better try and go back. Irrespective of what has happened, Steve is your lovely wedded husband. Sister, Steve and I are over. Think about it. When last did he look for me to beg me? He stopped coming after failing a few times. That simply means I'm no longer important to him. Should you expect him to come back after all the humiliation you gave to him? Ask her. Nemeka. Are you also supporting Steve? Sister, you better listen to what Auntie is telling you. Because we all love you. And we care for you. We care for you and your, your unborn child. Yes. Will you shut up? Who even seek for your opinion? Sister, I am not going anywhere. Steve can go to hell for all I care. That's not true. Whether you like it or not, you are going back to your husband's house. Yes, yeah, so you are going back. You are going back. You are going back. This minute. Stop, what is it? Don't chase me out. You also want to chase me out. I'm not chasing you out. Really? Yes. I'm not going anywhere. You are going back. I am not going anywhere, sister. You are going to your Steve husband. can live alone. I don't want Steve in my life anymore. I'm not going anywhere. You will live with him, oh. He's your husband. Huh? Mom chasing me out. You're also chasing me out. I'm not chasing you. So out. I'm not going anywhere. Please, you, you, you should leave me. Matter. You are going no. You are going no. Hey, Mama. 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 Hey,
sorry. What are you sorry about? That you cheated on me or that you brought that woman into our house? You did not cheat on me. I've told you before, what else do you want me to tell you? I, the day you saw me in that hotel room, I hadn't done anything with that. I couldn't get myself to do it because I love you. Oh, please, spare me. Don't even talk about love. I don't. I tried to explain this to you, but you wouldn't listen to me. I was confused. I was lonely. I, I didn't know what to do. I, I'm sorry. You have to send her away. She has to leave. See, I am your wife. I am back. We're going to have a baby. Please send her away. That will not be possible. She's also carrying me. Effigy. Um, Ada, see, why are they this house? Serious Wahala don't date this house. You see, um, she will not be tell you that time. He say, eh, Adana, eh, 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 Adana, they talk like radio way back, you know, the inside. Thank God, say, don't take your eyes, say, um. <laughs> but, eh, wait till Noga will come to now. This one, Wahala, two wives for inside one. Which house. one be two wives? One wife, one sugar mommy. Uh, no, that one, I can't go by. One wife, one can't go by. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, but they will be married before the accident now. They marry? You marry them? See, make I tell you, you see this house. Time go reach where we say, if the katakata starts, if they won't turn this house to one front or one zone, I go just stay jelly. I can enter my, that my small house, carry my small bag. I can go. <laughs> see this one? Wait. No, be the same you with this your mouth. Tell me, say, eh, now nah, because, say, eh, my village people, they just, they follow me, they push me, they push me, they push me. Now nah, make me leave village, run come city. Yeah, you know, say, you want to go again. Eh, eh, see, FG. Eh, but we don't have any foot. The auntie Jennifer, we are in, she need it to like trouble like that. Unless, see, now nah, that's okay, wife, could they cause the trouble. Because the way they see that woman, eh, if you look at face, that's also trouble for her. So you don't they take sides? No, 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 you don't begin to support one person. We wait till the hour. Eh, I beg, do the sweeping, will be your talent. Eh, shut up. Will be your career. I know. Make I grow my mind. Will be me come follow you, they talk, they gist. Mm. you I will go back to my father's house because you no longer belong here anymore I 
heard you're pregnant. She had right. Congrats. What a nice way to tie down a man who doesn't want you anymore. I will pretend I didn't hear that. Like I said, leave now before it's too hot. Why? Are you afraid of a little competition? Competition. Are you kidding me? <gasps> what makes you think you can win me over Steve's? You don't stand the chance, honey. I am Steve's beautiful wife. And you are just some desperate bitch from his past. Mm-hmm. The dice is cast. From now on, it's a game of chess. Let's see who wins the heart of Mr. Steven Brooks. May the best woman win. This is not good. This is war. My brother, what are you going to do? I don't know. <clears throat> Honestly, Johnson, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. Especially now that both women are pregnant. So how is um how is Jenny taking all this? Surprisingly, she's been calm. Yeah. Well, you know, Jenny, mm. you can't trust that to I be know, calm I am. in such a situation. I just pray she doesn't start the third world war in my house. That's what I'm just, um, just take it easy. Good thing your house is pretty much still in order. They're still calm. I'm sure things will somehow work themselves out. Hmm? I hope so. I just hope so. Ah, so what about your wife, Rachel? I'm oh, Rachel, so. she's inside. She's getting ready for me to accept this. Oh, there she is. Oh, hi. <laughs> there you are. I was just asking after you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I didn't know you were around. Oh, yes, I've been around for a few minutes. I see you're ready for service. Yes. My love. Yeah. Got to go. Make sure you pay for us. Do you not always do that? Oh. I trust woman. I know. Definitely got it right this time. I I look at that.
suffering. Are you sure about this? Because I will advise you leave Stephen and his wife alone. You two don't belong together. I can't. I'm pregnant for him. Look, this whole game has changed. I am going to have this baby in his father's house. You're my friend. I expect you to be on my side. You know what? I'm not talking about this anymore. If you are here to kill my joy, I will just peacefully leave. Jennifer. Ah, it has not gotten to this. I am only looking out for you. I just want to be sure that you are okay. I'm not a kid. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Just calm down. My group and I will be dancing at a private party of a top government official this weekend. Wow. <laughs> this must mean lots of money for you. I'm conscious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah? Uh huh. For oh, babes, do you really serious about making a career out of this dancing stuff? Of course. <laughs> you know how much this means to me. Please. I know. I'm serious. <laughs> I love dancing too, but just for fun. No? I know. But, for oh babes, come to think of it, don't you think men are skeptical about ladies with such career? I don't care. I don't care. Any man that is worthy to have me will appreciate what I do for a living. Good, this is me. Really? <laughs> and I can't change for some kind of a man to love me. No, I don't do that. I can't. I love dancing and that's not what I do for a living. This is one girl. <laughs> Alright, son. I'll be there soon, son. Yes, sir. Okay, no problem, son. Alright, take care. Why did you do it? Why did I do what? You left him for another man, knowing fully when that we have a son together. Is it because the man has money and I don't? It hurts, you know. You just made a vital point. Okay, let's be realistic. But what would you have used to take care of me? What I did is for the benefit of everybody. You are comfortable today because of Johnson's money. Our son lacks nothing because of the same money. Guy, you should be grateful. So, what about the money I ask of? Send me your details. I'll make a transfer of five hundred thousand. In as much as you be nice, you keep getting whatever you want. Thank you very much. I love you. Uh, can I see you? Honey, I want to have a word with you this minute. Hey, let it wait now. I'm, 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 I'm busy, as you can see. No, I can't wait. I have to speak to you now. Did you smoke? Uh, seriously, are, are you drunk? I just said I'm busy. Can't you see that? Um, I'm... Let it be. It's okay. I'll leave. It's okay. No. The 
said better be important. I can't stand the presence in this house any longer. She is disgusting to me and I want her to leave. Excuse me. Did you just hear yourself? Excuse me. That's my wife we're talking about. And I'm carrying your child. So is she. Look, I understand this is hard for everyone, all right? But you need to slow down. If it was possible for me to turn back the hands of time, you know I would do that. I know I... It's all my fault I made mistakes, but you really need to slow down. I've hurt that woman so much. I need to make amends. Please just understand. Honey, this is not fair. This is not fair and you know. I am the one that is hurt the most. All right, I'm sorry. Jennifer girl out of your house and if she fails I'm coming down myself to take her away with your respect for that that will not happen <laughs> how dare you talk to your father like that Steve what has that week given you to eat eh? mother she's not a witch <laughs> Jenny is not a witch shut up young man no no no, no father please <laughs> Do not tell me to shut up, okay? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a child. You should respect the fact that I'm an adult. I can take my own decisions right now and stand by them, all right? Yes, I married Martha, and that is because I love her. She's a wonderful woman. But if both of you did not meddle with my life so much, as much as you did three years ago, I wouldn't be in this mess today, okay? And know this, there is no way I'm going to send Jenny out. She is carrying my child. It's not possible. And I wronged her. The situation she finds herself in today was all my fault. So you guys should just calm down and allow me to handle this my way. It's my life. Easy. Mm -hmm. I think this proposal is a good one. Yeah, I think it's genuine. Look down here. You can see it clearly states that we get a larger number of shares. You're right. Let's seal up this day. Mark, you are in charge of our accounts department. Do you think this will be good for you at such time as this? This sort of risk? Yes. You know the business policy. No successful deal without big risk. This is the best time to do this thing, if you ask me. Baby! Hey. I see the men are busy. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mark. Hi. I didn't know you could drop a I decided to bring lunch before going to the salon. Oh. 
That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. Okay. Let me leave you guys to get back to work. I'll see you at home. Was that not Jenny? Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, that's her. It's not possible. Isn't she supposed to be dead? Uh. Steve, what this see when I get home? How about your wife? Don't you think you should concentrate on this project? Okay, um, if as though we're sending this to I have a problem with this, of course. They should at least give us some more time. Thank you. So, have you had yet? I'm not hungry. Why? Yeah, you're still watching your weight. I'm just not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you, Sister Gina. That's what you're calling me at this hour of the day. I, I hope all is well. Yeah, all is well. Um, just that I've really missed you, you know. You know, uh, I want you to come and see me at our usual hotel tonight. Oh my God! How could I have forgotten? Sister Gina, may God bless you mightily for reminding me. I give you one hour to the year. I am going to be with you and other women very soon. You know what I can do, right? If you're not here in the next one hour, I will come knocking at your door. You know what I'm capable of doing? Yes. God bless you. Thank you. My darling. Gina from my church. Ah, my love. You know, I forgot that the women of faith will be having their vigil tonight. And you know their secondary. Vigil on a Monday? Oh, my darling. I forgot to tell you that we moved our vigil from Thursday to Mondays. I didn't remember to tell you. I'm sorry. Oh, would you love to go with me? Go with you? You just said it's um, for the women of faith. What would I be doing there? <laughs> I forgot. You know, I love going to everywhere with you. Hmm? My darling, let me go in there, change something and go there because you've been waiting for me. Hmm? That's fine. I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Don't you want me to you? No! Don't worry. <laughs> Bye, baby. Why me? Why me? Marriage. Hey? I'm sorry, okay. Um, just that I was missing you at the same time. I needed to see you. <laughs> and what's funny? Sister Gina, <laughs> you're dressing. That's absurd. <laughs> you dress so funny, my dear. <laughs> Whatever. Bobby, you went to the extreme today. Don't do it again. Sorry, okay. It won't happen again. 
Sorry. Come on. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Don't judge the book, but it's What are you doing at the backyard? Uh, madam, have you the wash clothes? Ah. <laughs> what happened to the washing machine? Uh, madam, that washing machine made the feet wash my clothes. Uh, I, I know to trust them. Now I make I say make I use my hand wash them. Where, where? Ah, da. So you think these your tiny hands can wash better than the washing machine? Anyway. Take this money. Buy me 1,500 naira recharge card. Then you can use the other 500 naira for yourself. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Thank you. Mono! Oh, okay. Ada, where are you going to? Uh, I won't go buy something for madame. Go back inside the house. Go and make noodles for me. I'm hungry. Uh, madame, no vest. Make a just run. Go buy the card. I go come back now and I can't cook the indomie for you. Are you stupid? Are you forgetting I brought you into this house? I said, go inside and make noodles for me. <laughs> Madam, no face. I'm not going to waste time. I did come now and I beg. Make her just go buy the cat. Ada! <laughs> Because I go message from Madame, that makes she beats me. If you see the way, if you see it, she beats me. Eh? Waiting that one coming now. So she now make you the go message for her wife again. <laughs> you see him? You see the person why I tell you make you know the support. You see him? Ha! When I face my auntie Jennifer, she be no day like this. Uh, I don't know what to happen. Uh, okay. It change. Yes. Hey, you feel like say she really panned you. <laughs> See, person, we're not too tall. Now they come, they use hand, they press down. Use hand, they bring you down more.
Time's gone by, but you still remain the special friend, special one for me. Good day. Yeah, good day. And uh, who are you looking for? I'm here to see your mother, Mr. Johnson's wife. Is she expecting you? Just there that Bobby is looking for her. Please hurry up. So what? I've been calling her, refused to pick your call. For what? So why won't I be here? Okay, you know what? Just go, go, go. I'll come and see you later. See, I'm not going anywhere. We need to talk. I'm here already. Okay, say something. What is it? What brought you? Okay. I need 10 million naira from you. What? Yes. Your husband is fucking you rich. I know definitely he's going to give you the money. Just pick up the story and tell him something. Get the money for me. 10 million? Yeah, um, you know, I can really hang right on the wall. I know, I know you're tired of me, and you want to get rid of me, okay? Just let that money be the parting gift you've given to me and our son. Do you understand? You know what you stand to lose, right? You want. I'm just letting you know. Ada. house. A house I knew how it was built. The living room was empty when I walked in. Were you blind to say that I was watching my favorite program? Were you blind? How would I have known? You weren't here when I walked in. No one was here. You're very stupid. Give me the remote. Give me the remote. Huh? Give me the remote. Give me the remote. Give me the remote. I will beat you. You air. Then I will beat you. 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 One your wife, oh. one her. What is the problem? She's always igniting trouble in this house. <sighs> she came into this place and changed my favorite channel. One how? Oh, you know I wouldn't do that. When I walked in here, this living room was empty. So I changed the TV channel only for her to walk in here and say I changed it on purpose. Can you imagine that? I can't believe this. How can both of you be fighting over the TV channel? For God's sake, can't you remember your condition? You are pregnant, both of you. You want to watch TV? All the rooms in this house, they have TV sets in there. What's going on? Listen, let this not happen again. Is that clear? Never!
sorry for losing it today. She really pushed me to the extreme. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just don't want you to get hurt. Try as much as possible to avoid Jenny. Alright? Avoid getting into a fight with her. You know your condition. You're pregnant. I won't, I won't forgive myself if anything happens to you or the baby. Nothing will happen to the baby and I, I promise. I'm sorry I put you through this. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. If I had told you from the beginning... That's I'd... enough. Just so you know, I didn't come back because I'm pregnant. I came back because you're my husband. And I know you need me. Bank. Rachel, I have told you times with that number. Get rid of that bobby of a guy. I have peace of mind. <laughs> Becky, you know I can't do that. Remember, he's the father of my son. That is more reason why you should kill him. Rachel, if you want your secret safe with you, you must take him out. You know, it is dangerous and risky letting him leave. No, no, I, I can't do that. I can't possibly kill the father of my child. Okay, I can't. Hmm? You're always spoiling me. Hmm. Don't forget I'm no longer in the university. You know, you are still my baby. I just want you to feed well, especially in this your condition. <laughs> Thank you so much, sister. Okay? Like I told you, always be happy. Don't allow anything to disturb you. <laughs> be happy and always be prayerful, okay? Sis. Yes. I've heard everything you say, and I'll do just that. Okay. Thank you so much. Where are you going with your bag? I'm going with my sister. Ha. <laughs> I can't stay here doing nothing. That somebody is making my sister uncomfortable in her husband's house. Okay. You go inside and drop that bag. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. I'll be fine. I can take care of myself. You don't need to bother. Sorry, sister. I've made up my mind. Ah. Nemeka. Hmm? Okay. I've accepted. But on one condition. Okay. Nemeka, you're not coming to the house to cause problems for me. No. I promise that I'm not going to cause problems. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. I only just want to protect my <laughs> lovely sister. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you say so, Star, we have to leave now. I'll speak on my sister some other time. Mm. All right, Star. <laughs> Jenny, my girlfriend. I must confess that pregnancy looks good on you. Thank you. <laughs> Stephen is really doing a great job here. Huh? He's trying. <laughs> but Mata and her younger brother, they have sworn to frustrate my life in my house. What? Do you mean Mata's younger brother is still in that house? He practically lives there now. Oh, this is not good at all. Can you imagine what you're going to do now? I'm equal to the task. Don't you trust your girl again? You see, Matan and younger brother, they are too small, too kinny. <laughs> I 
can handle them. I am yes. equal to the top. Don't you trust your friend again? I trust you. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer, my girlfriend. <laughs> Let's keep going. Don't mind them. Take it easy. Easy. If they come from left, <laughs> I will go from right. <laughs> oh. Easy. Madam Jennifer. Like I said, Ruth, you need to understand your sister. She is so much in love with Steven, and nobody can talk her out of it. <laughs> that man does not deserve her. Not after all he did. I know. I understand where you're coming from. But you know how stubborn Jenny is. She cannot abandon her now. Especially now that Martha's brother is making life unbearable for her. She needs you by her side. Please. Please go and see her. At least she can spend some time with her. Please. Okay. I have heard you. I will go and see her. <laughs> Good. Thank you so much. This is exactly what I expect you to say. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, let me run along. Huh? And take care of yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> not be happy with the choice you've made but I'm here to take care of my sister thank god you came <laughs> at least finally I have someone to gist with whenever Steve is not around um what about Ada she doesn't keep you company <laughs> that one that one is a huge case so she never gets to understand anything all you get to hear is Yeah, you. No, 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 don't worry. Welcome. Thank you. You're not looking bad. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy. You look good. Thank you. Did not come by with your car. No, my car broke down on the express, but um, there's a mechanic there fixing it. He will bring it back soon. Okay. Where's my wife? Okay, she went out. Oh, with the other car? Yes, sir. Mama said, Don't worry, oh, we go find you, the special girl. Papa said, Don't bother, oh, we go find you. The perfect one So when she misbehaves We go come through with experience When you penetrate You go find she's the perfect one One day, two day, three day, four days The good girl misbehaves Five nights, six nights, seven nights, seven days From a good girl to a bad girl oh, This stupid boy goes to leaving my gate open like this I told 
told you. Don't thank me later for I'm this. Friend. Thank you. Yes, you told me. And I am very, very happy I took your decision. Hmm? This God for some You know, I have strong alcohol hidden in my kitchen. I told Johnson I don't take alcohol. <laughs> I beg you, come, let's go and celebrate. <laughs> Mama said, don't worry, oh, we go find you, the special girl. Papa said, don't bother, oh, we go find you, the perfect one. Hmm. Strong one. Now you can enjoy your marriage without the fear of some guy called Bobby. Becky, he caught what he deserved. Rachel takes alcohol. That boy wanted to frustrate me. I am not regretting killing him at all. Joe, with him out of the way, and my son with my grandmother in the village, Joseph will never know it's a girl. See you forever. <laughs> Is that? Do you want me to die of hunger in my in-laws house? 
Lemeka. Lemeka, I'm talking to you. You slap me! I will slap you again and again! You slap me! Hey! Hey! I said it's going to be you! You slap me! You want that today? Pregnancy has cost you. You are totally out of shape. What's that? I know I still look sexy even with this big tummy. <laughs> I hear you, sexy mama. <laughs> Ruth, yes. Don't you think it's high time you let go of this anger you have towards Steven? Please, Jen, just stop it. Stop it. If I can forgive him, you can also forgive him. You can't deny the fact that he's been trying to make up for his mistakes. By putting you in a position of fighting with another woman over him? Please, please forgive him. At least for the sake of your nephew or niece. Oh, please. And now that is a cheap blackmail. Stop it. Please. Okay, fine. I will think about it, but That's I am not promising anything. Sister. I know you forgive him. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody <sighs> oh, please let me stay. Please. Rachel, you must really have nerves. After all you did, you, you come in here to, to talk to me. We won't let you in. Eh? Who would have thought that you were capable of murder? You see, you know me, I can't do this. My name wasn't me, it was the day when I was pushed into the like this. I'm sorry, I don't think. I'm sorry. The same way you would have been pushed into killing me and taking my will. No! I would never do that to you. I love you so much. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Come in. Okay, officers. Oh. Officer, thanks for coming. That's the murderer. You can take her away. Madam, you're under arrest for the murder of one Mr. Bobby Williams. You have the right to remain silent, for everything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Madam, you also have the, you also have the right for not doing it. But if you don't have any, the state is glad to provide one for you. No, 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 no. Okay, sir. My love, please forgive sure, me. Sir. I'm sorry. Darling, I love you. Please don't do this. Please. Please. Rachel, you are worse than a chameleon. Oh, no. Crocodile tears. Come on. Robert. <laughs> The police and the country at large is indeed grateful for this great information. Thank you. Thank you for coming. My love, please. Please, my love, please. No. Have a rethink. I love you. I want to do this. Mama said, oh, don't worry. We're going to find you, the special girl. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 
bone. Sorry, sorry. But I mean one bone. Jenny is fine. Huh? She's just been delivered of a bouncy baby girl. Ah! Yes! <laughs> Days are numbered in this house, especially now that Mata has a son and I a daughter. Stephen won't hesitate to throw me out at any given opportunity. After all, I'm not legally married to him. <laughs> no, I can't let that happen. I won't let it happen. I have come too far to back out. I must do something about this and very fast. Stephen is mine and not even Mata and her son can stop us from being together. I know what to do. Johnson. Johnson, you need to put yourself together. Come on. You can't kill yourself simply because your mind to Rachel didn't work out. It shouldn't be a bad idea right now. I don't mind. I, I will be with your own problems. Look at, look at him now. With your beautiful daughter. You have a bouncing boy. It's two marriages. What do I have to show for it? Johnson, I understand the way you feel. But just don't worry. I believe soon you'll get a wonderful man you're going to spend the rest of your life with. I'm done. I'm done listening to my parents. That's the spirit. I will go 
in search of my own wife myself. Odd places I will search for my wife. Bar, clubs, ghetto, anywhere. But the church, no more. Because those church sisters, you don't know what they're coming with. I'm done. Something to drink? Are you sure you're okay? I went for help during labor. Mother, make sure my goddaughter is well taken care of. I hear no you. Stories. I hear you, madam. <laughs> Jenny, I am so happy for you. Look at you. You are mother already. Huh? <laughs> and when are you planning to join the lake? Can't I have a good conversation with my girlfriend without being bugged about men and their marriage? Please. Silver, Silver, why are you so scared of men? Are you not going to settle down someday? I will, until I find the right man. But for now, let me get going. I need to get ready for the club. I pray you find the right man, because I cannot wait for you to settle down sooner. Amen! Amen. Mama said, don't worry, oh, we go find you, the special girl. Papa said, don't bother, oh, we go find you, the perfect one. So when she misbehaves, we go come through with experience. When you penetrate, you go find she's the perfect one. One day, two day, three day, four days. Wow. Where on earth have you been? It's been a while. Mm. Let me guess, you've probably been in one country or another shooting. Mm -hmm. You're right. Right, I know that you guys always move around South yeah. Africa, Ghana, London, things like that. Great, right, great, you're doing so well for yourself. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank See you. you. See you, Silva. <laughs> Do I get an autograph or something? No, boss. Oh, Just again. Oh. Um, I heard about what happened with Rachel. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. It's in the past now. Oh. It's all behind us. Um, okay, so where, where are you off to? Do you mind if we do lunch or something? I want to go to the salon, but about the lunch, no. Maybe we can exchange. I can give you my number, then we can talk on call to my part of the Oh, okay, okay. Um, there you go. Okay, I hope this is not your manager's number. No. I can reach you on this directly. Yes, my Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. You know what? Let me just even start flashing you now, so I'm, I'm sure you really. You don't trust me, <laughs> just <laughs> this right. is my number. Alright, I'll thank you. Have a blessed day. Mama said, "Don't worry, boy. She gonna make you a happy man." <sighs> okay. We'll see you tomorrow by seven, then. Unbelievable. Silver and Johnson. <laughs> oh, please. Babes, see how you are blushing. Tell me, how did it happen? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Babes, mm -hmm. I have never felt like this for any man before. Oh, yeah. Oh God, he is so, so... <sighs> How blind could those women be to hurt on this guy? Just he's such... He's such a nice man. Oh yeah? Yes. And to think it was dance that got the both of you together. 
After you guys have known yourself for years. <laughs> I've never said we are together yet. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Please pardon my manners. What what do I offer you? Give me this dress. Give me. Look at you. Oh your own. please, I don't want. To. Please get it your wallet has not stopped you. Oh. Get another one for yourself. Get another one for yourself, please. I just cannot believe it. I cannot believe the fact that I have known you this long. We have known each other for so long and then the thought of me falling in love with you has never crossed my, my mind. Not even once. Close to me. All this is my life has been about my dancing career and making money. But having you, having you mean so much to me. Having you bring joy to my life. See what you, you know about my ordeal with women. In the last few years, my my marital journeys have been nothing to write home about. So it freaks me out sometimes, you know. But I I want you to stay, stay with me. I am here. Trust me. I know you are here, but this is different. I want you to stay forever. Within this past few months, after we started dating, my life has been the happiest. No woman has ever made me as happy as you have. You have filled the void in my heart that no one else has.
<laughs> wow, this is so beautiful. Thank you. I'm happy for you, girl. Thank you. I can't believe this is happening in my life. Everything is happening so fast. This, this whole scenario is it's taking me back to when Stephen proposed to me. Oh, please, don't even go there. Don't think about it. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Thank the you. ring is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you, Silver. And the best thing that has happened to me. Oh. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't see her all along. I can see that. So good to see you happy again. Thanks, man. <laughs> so good. And I am so happy that you are happy. <laughs> okay, so. Have you told your parents about it? Um, not yet, but um, we intend to go see them tomorrow. Great. And what if they don't approve of that? Knowing the kind of girl they want for you, the church girl. Well, that will be their business, not mine. With or without their consent, I'm getting married to Silva. I mean, I'm no longer that, that mommy's boy used to know, man. I have moved on. <laughs> I like that. That's the sweet. Good to see you, finally, man. Thank you. There's no way, absolutely no way, I'm letting my parents ruin my life again. I've not recovered on the last one. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's drink up to better marriage. Okay, wait on, sir. Somebody that side they wait for you. One slim man like that. One slim man in that side. That he wants to see me. Yes, sir. Bring him in. Okay, sir. Good day, Mr. Stevens. How may I help you? I want my son, that's why I'm here. Who's your son? That's all. The son she claims is yours is mine. Mother used to be my girlfriend before she abandoned me and married because of money. Are you sick? Where is this one from? What are you even talking about? Oh, come on, Mata. Tell him the truth. Tell him how we made love on the eve of your wedding. Ah. You must be a madman. Honey, I don't know this man. I have never even seen him in my entire life before. What is this we're talking about? I don't want my son. Dad. Mom. Um. <clears throat> this is um. Silva. Okam. The woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Silva. Yes. My parents, Chief and Mrs. Roberts. <laughs> really. You're welcome, my daughter. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Please sit down. <sighs> <sighs> sir, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. He has told me so much about you. Really? Yes. I hope they are good things. <laughs> of course. Yes, they are. <laughs> my daughter. What church do you attend? <laughs> um, I, I worship with Living Grace Church. My dear, are you in the choir or in worship? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Madam, no, I am just a member. Okay, that's it. You're welcome to my home. Thank you, 
Yeah. Let me get it then. Yeah, that's right. And you, Sylvia, follow me. Oh, it's Silver. Oh, Silver! <laughs> What do you think? Well, I think she looks nice. Just that she's not a member of our church. Mad. But I think she'll make a good wife for you. She will. I think so. Thanks, Ned. It's okay, my son. Oh. Oh, so, when are you going to see her parents? Um, I'm not sure yet. As soon as possible. I'll just tell her to find out from her parents when they will be charged to see us. Earlier the better. Johnson wants to bring into this family a whore. But it, this man is crazy. I, I've never seen him in my life before. I don't know him. I, I promise. I, 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 you liar. Hand over my son to me. I want my son. Ha! Who sent you? Why are you doing this to me? Hand over my son to me. Please tell my husband the truth. I don't know you and you and I know that. Hand over my son to me. Ha! Father, let me make it 
and learn from it. You brought Susan. I accepted I married her. And then it was rich. I still went ahead. I have practically lived my entire life doing what you both want. This one time, Father, let me do this my own way. I love Silva, and I have a strong feeling that she's the one for me. But my son, what she does for a living? That it doesn't matter. What has that got to do with anything? Father, it's, it's about what the heart feels. The appearance has nothing to do with it. Okay, for instance, the Susan you brought to your Rachel, acting all churchy, all righteous, holier than thou. How did that end up? Where did that lead us? Silver may not look like the perfect wife material, but she is such an angel. Mom, you need to spend more time with her. She is so sweet. Please. Just this once, let me do this. That. Please. Um. Okay, I, um. I. I called us here to reason as men. And, um, profile. A solution to the problem at hand. <clears throat> the only solution I will consent to it is him handing over my son to me. Over my dead body. Did you hear me? <clears throat> he said that will be over my dead body. I don't care what you had with mother. All right, that's your business. But what I will not take is you coming out from nowhere to lay claims to my son. Hand over my son to me. He is my son. That is my blood. My son! There's no need for this, sir. Stephen, you should know better. Calm down. Get this. This will not take us anywhere. It's fine. That's why we're, we're sitting to talk. The, the, the only solution to this problem, the lasting solution, the only way to know who the father of this child is, is a DNA test. Yes. Fine, I'm in for it. Daniel? Me too. Bestie, I've told you not to be worried. Look, don't you love you? Irrespective of what the family thinks, you'll be fine. Just relax, okay? Don't worry, I'll come and see you tomorrow. Bye. How is her? She'll be fine. Any woman in her shoes will feel the same way. All these happenings, it's really driving me crazy. Do you think Martha did what that man is accusing her of? Why should I doubt him? No one just comes out from the moon and lays claim to someone's child. I, I don't know what to think. She maintains the fact that she don't know anything about him. She's just pretending, you know. Look, very soon, the truth will come out. The truth cannot be hidden for a very long time now. The truth will definitely come out. Pretend that. Excuse me. Why are you calling me? What is it? Hold on, I'll see you shortly. Who is that? I have to rush to see someone now. I'll be right back.
What is it? You sounded so urgent on the phone. I told you we can't be seen together. I know. I had a meeting with Steven and his friend. They want to have a DNA test. I'm afraid I'm backing out from this day. No. You can't back out now. I paid you well for this. You didn't tell me to go this far. I didn't know either. I was thinking Steven would chase that useless woman out of his house. Immediately you show up and lay claims to his son. What do we do now? Because I can't go with them to the hospital. I might get arrested if the truth comes out. Um, okay, I think I know what to do. You know what? Just show up for the DNA test. I'll take care of the rest. That's too risky. Okay, you have to pay more money for that. Okay, I'll transfer 500,000 naira into your account. Please leave. I have to start going now. I can't be seen with you. Leave, leave, leave. Adieu. And Daniel, please. Can I see you in my office? No, doctor. Say whatever you have to say right here. Go on, doc. Well, the result of the DNA test proves that um, Mr. Stephen Brooks is the biological father of the child. sent you to do this when you call the police. What I did to you. What I did. I did out of the desperation for, for the love I have for him. My pride won't even let me thank you for what you did for me on the day of my delivery. Even in your condition, not minding how cruel I was to you. I don't think I would do that to you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry for, for almost ruining your home. 
promise you, you will never see me close to this house again. You will never see me come close to this house again. I'm going upstairs to pack my things. For? She said she they look for a boss. I can't ask her whether he'll be like a pack. Where did they pack? Tip a boss, all those baba, big boss. Good day. Hello. You must be Stephen's new wife. Oh, yes, I am. My name is Jennifer. Okay. A colleague from his office. Oh. I brought a document for him to sign. Wake up in time and you don't go away. <laughs> you marry me if you knew you were going to torture me like this? Steve, what have I done to deserve this? Steve! Mr. Stephen Brooks, your wife is pregnant and I do not want to have my baby outside his father's house. Ada? Ada? Auntie? Take my things upstairs. Okay. Make sure you clean my room properly because I don't want to share my room with a total stranger. Sorry about that you cheated on me 
or that you brought that woman into our house. They did not cheat on you. I've told you before, what else do you want me to tell you? I, the day you saw me in that hotel room, I hadn't done anything with that. I couldn't get myself to do it because I love you. Oh, please, baby. Don't even talk about love. I tried to explain this to you about you wouldn't listen to me. I was confused. I was lonely. I, I didn't know what to do. I, I'm sorry. You have to send her away. She has to leave. Steve. I am your wife. I am back. We're going to have a baby. Send her away. That will not be possible. She's also carrying my. I see you decided to come back. If I were you, I would go back to my father's house. Because you no longer belong here anymore. watch TV in this house. A house I knew how it was built. The living room was empty when I walked in. Were you blind to say that I was watching my favorite program? Were you blind? How could I have known? You weren't here when I walked in. No one was here. It's a very stupid. Give me the remote. Mm -hmm. Huh? Give me the remote! Sister, Jennifer! Give me, give me the remote! I will beat you. You air! Then I will beat you! I will beat you! I will beat you! One your wife, oh. one her. What is the problem? She's always igniting trouble in this house. <sighs> she came into this place and changed my favorite channel. One how? You know I wouldn't do that. When I walked in here, this living room was empty. So I changed the TV channel only for her to walk in here and say I changed it on purpose. Can you imagine that? I can't believe this. How can both of you be fighting over the TV channel? For God's sake, don't you remember your condition? You are pregnant, both of you. You want to watch TV? All the rooms in this house, they have TV sets in there. What's going on? Listen, let this not happen again. Is that clear? Never. going to leave without you. My parents are sorted. We can fix it date.
the battle is not over yet. <laughs> Steven thinks he can ruin my life and get away with it while he enjoys a peaceful home. No. I won't let that happen. I will make Mata pay for all the pains she caused me. For stealing my man and making my daughter live without her father. She must pay for every time I had to soak my pillow with tears. You can't have my man. Stephen is mine and mine alone. And you don't go away alone 